What's up everyone, it's Sir Burks. And PTP. Happy Black Monday. It's that, that day in sports and the NFL where, you know, we gotta let some people go. Um, a few casualties today, two coaches and two sets of GM staff. So, um, start off with Steve Spagnuolo, the coach of the, um, the St. Louis Rams that got the ax today. So. And the GM too, the GM for that matter, but they're both gone. So. I think it's a move that I mean, they gave him two years last year. Had a little bit of a, a push at the end of the season towards the playoffs at the last game where he could have made the playoffs, but they ended up losing that game. So, they were able to do anything last year, and then this year, things fell apart even further. So, yeah, I think. Yeah, decision that the owner had to make. Maybe they want to go in a different direction and see. I mean, I think he kind of got to go in a different direction. Uh, my only worry is that McDaniels like, takes over. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. This is just speculation. Yeah, that would be my one concern. I mean, as as, as I don't I don't think Spags is the right man for the job. I mean, I think he's a great defensive coordinator. Yeah, but I think sometimes that's the role. So much to say. I don't. I don't. I, I I didn't really like the decisions and the way that team kind of. Yeah, there yeah. is. I find now more days like more, more these days. There's a lot of things where. Is it a lot of coaches are being scapegoated? I mean, I know it's always been like that, but finding more lately though, even like after two years, like the St. Louis front, the St. Louis Rams, they weren't good before Spagnola came. He's there for two years. He had one year where they almost and then one bad year. Now you clean house. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things that I have to happen. Maybe you want to go in a different direction, but I find there's less patience now with these coaches. So. I agree with you, there is less, yeah, there is less patience, and I, and I mean, I think part of the issue though with Spagnola was that being a defensive specialist, yeah. or a guru, or however you want to call it, I think there was a lot of expectations that he would come in there and really revamp that, I think, I think the, the St. Louis organization felt that, I mean, they didn't have the biggest names, but I think they felt they really did have some talent yeah. on that de defensive side, especially in the front uh, four. Yeah. I really do think they had some guys, and they do have some guys there. And I really thought they felt that they would bring Spagnola in, he'd be able to better utilize them, yeah. and he'd take more advantage of them. So, I mean, as much as the offensive woes this season uh, killed Spagnola, yeah. I think it was also as much as the defense I, I don't think they what they seen, thought it would be. I don't think they've seen what they thought they would have done. Yeah, yeah. The, defense, the defense. I think what some coaches happen to, like, they just have too much on their plate and become a parent after a few years, so they make a few, make a few decisions. Anyway, Rams fans, let us know like what you guys thought of Steve Spagnuolo. You guys, who, who do you think they should bring in um, to coach the football team? Um, comment, subscribe, but let us know what you guys think, all right? And, uh,